for those of y'all that think you have to spend a whole lot to get on All Star, I wanted to show you this project that I'm doing right now in this little case. It's being run by this little tiny power supply, so this radio is probably going to go off. But as you can see, when I key this radio up, it's keying up an All Star system node. So this right here is acting as the node. And what's going on is they got this little blue box that's back here. It's got a few uh, settings, but the one that you're mostly concerned with is this, which is USB audio. And on the other side, they got a DIN cable. Okay, this DIN cable, this white DIN cable, it plugs into the side of that. And on the side of it, it says uh, Yezu Kenwood ICOM, or it has Moto. So you can select many, many radio models. But this white cable's going back here to the back of this XPR, and it's being plugged in, right? Okay, I hope everybody's following me. So this blue cable, which is on the USB side, is wrapping around here, and it's going into the Pi. You need to have a Pi. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... You can get these Pies for $45 on Amazon right now. Um, and I'm going to leave a link in the description. Also, I'm going to leave a link on this blue box... They generally cost, uh, I think I paid $39. Yeah, you know, I think you can get them you know, with the tariffs now to about probably about $50. But you can get started on All Star for next to nothing. So you're not just stuck with this radio. You can go with a PM400, a CM200. You can go with an old Max Track, a GM350. Doesn't matter. So if a lot of people have old radio equipment lying around. You can repurpose this old radio equipment and actually turn it into an all-star note. And just so you know how I got this going is with the power supply, which is why I said it's not going to hang. I got this little buck converter, which steps it down from 12 volts to uh, the Pi. It needs 5 volts, 3 amps, which that steps that down. That's what this is going to. It's powering this Pi on the side right here. Um, and the other one, you know, this is what's killing it. That's why I said I don't know if this little power supply is going to make it. But these things usually take 13.6, you know, 12 volts, what have you. And it's just, I just, you know, basically tied those together. But I'm going to leave links to the blue box. Um, also, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that now. I have a couple other things I'm going to show you. But just stay put and I'll, uh, I'm going to upload soon. And uh, if you don't mind... If you have any questions, drop it in the comments, and please, please, please like this video. Thank you so much.